Welcome back to my channel. This time I have something really cool. It is the Jayco Melbourne. The motorhome that is amazing. You'll be surprised to see how much it's loaded and how unique it is. So let's go for the tour. So this is the Jayco Melbourne, a motorhome that is sitting on a Mercedes chassis. No slide outs. It's the Melbourne Prestige that I am very, very excited to show you. I'll go around it to do a complete tour. Beautiful paint job. Great rear. Beautiful awning. Everything looks so classy and so elevated. It really looks prestigious. It's only 24 feet long and it's sitting on a Mercedes chassis. All the best of Mercedes options and features. Makes this amazing. Let's go inside. This is the 24 NP. As we go in, we have a, a single step here, a few steps inside, and then this is what welcomes us. I will give you a, a full tour momentarily, but I just wanted to give you an immediate feel of how it is to be in this Melbourne Prestige 24 NT. So what I'm gonna mention, and probably most of you have already seen the similarities, this is actually looking and feeling just like a Tiffin Wayfarer, the same design, the same concept, everything the same, just like the Tiffin Wayfarer. The kitchen, the L-shaped kitchen, two burner propane stove. A deep round sink with an extending faucet. The TV is right here and a nice big size storage space right underneath the sink. Drawers, two of two and three of them. Cabinets above the sink, pretty hefty and spacious. Above the TV, you have a little shelf here for your spices and whatever you want to store. Above the entrance, above the door, there's a small space to store extra stuff like maybe uh, a dog's leash and whatnot. There's two seats up here that has seat belts on them and a storage space underneath storage space where the uh, leg for your table right here resides and then another seat right here and then this actually opens and extends across with the help of the uh, table in the middle this will become a single bed something unique that I've never seen in any other RV here they created these compartments to store so much stuff on these trays and there's three of them and they're through so you can actually store here heck of a items, long items, fishing poles, skis, boards, snowboards, but it's got a lot of space for storage, which is also unique. Cause normally this area would, with other competitors, a bed, 
over the cab bed for two more people, but they chose to do that as a storage space. Also here above the seat next to the kitchen, you have this extended countertop that turns your kitchen to be a very comfortable with a lot of prep space and it clearly and easily stows away whenever you're ready for travel. And right here we have a microwave, a convection microwave. Underneath a nice Norcool freezer, refrigerator. And then right here to the next to the kitchen, we have a very nice spice rack. And then we uh, go into the living area, which is also the bedroom. An L-shaped uh, sofa. Some shelves on the side, a little cabinet for storage. Nice big windows with privacy shades and daytime shade. Over here, we have two openable windows. They're awning style. So that's very nice if it's raining outside, you don't have to worry about water coming in. You have a control unit here that would turn on your lights and extend and retract the awning and the master light off and on. So that's very cool because if you're already in bed and if you remember that you had to retract your awning, you don't have to go all the way to the door. You can do it right here at a comfort from your bed. It's got some uh, cabinets above the bed, AC outlets. They're small, narrow, but I think this is a, this is a pass-through hole for the CPAP machines, so that's very nice. You can uh, put it in here and just uh, pour the hose comes out of here to the bed and you don't have to worry about the machine being around or where we, you would put it and etc. So there's uh, five of those little cabinets above the bed or the sofa. And then across the sofa, you have a nice big TV, an AC with ducted ceilings. Over here, we have a hanging closet with the booster uh, seat cushions for the uh, swiveling front chairs. Nice size drawers. And here is your shower which is separate from the toilet with a skylight and some uh, shelves built in to the wall. And what's nice is that this door, when it's opened and full, this becomes your separator from the front. So if you want to have privacy in the bedroom, you can have that. And then when we turn around, this nice curved wall is where your toilet is. And this is a porcelain toilet with a little window. The Truma AquaGo heater is right here. A little sink. The flush is electric right there. Underneath the sink, we have a little space. The bath light and fan is controlled through here. That's the fan, ducted air and cabinet for all kinds of stuff with an AC outlet. This little window has privacy shade. And then let me show you how the bed comes down. So just like the Tiffin Wayfarer, and let me know in the comments if you think the same way as I do, that this looks identical as the Tiffin Wayfarer. So you just pull this, this becomes your leg, 
and this bed pulls down completely and then you just push it up and close this and put the cushions back to its space So this is your bedroom and your living room, which can be separated from the front once you open the shower door and snap to its place right here. And you have two bedrooms, front and the back. And Mercedes comes with all the bells and whistles that Mercedes offers. And also right next to the door here, you have a control panel that controls everything from your energy, lights, temperature, awnings and settings and etc. And here also you have your inverter, which is very accessible all in one area. I really like it. I hope uh, you enjoyed it too. And let me show you the exterior as well. So you have the steps to get in and out. You have the uh, side cameras for a better visibility as you're driving for your blind spots and whatnot. We have the Onan uh, 3600 generator right here. This is uh, a nice size compartment to store all kinds of stuff. This is the, um, the heater exhaust. Here the Aquago Truma heater. Over here in this compartment, we have all the water controls, the black and gray water uh, tanks, all the winterizations and sanitizations and city fixtures and whatnot, the city connection, the water pump, outside shower, gray and black tank they're combined into one outlet 30 amp power port and also a very nice hitch with the uh, seven pin connector a really nice rear by Jayco with the rear view camera I think she looks very pretty. And I can also see the stabilizers. As you can see, there's automated stabilizers on this beast. It's only 24 feet, no slide outs. Another storage here. Yet another one right here. Outside speakers. And this is where your propane tank is. Also a Girard awning that goes throughout all its side. And the lighting, the LED lighting is available to eliminate without the awning being on or off. So that's a great feature. Let me tell you its price. I think for what you get for 24 feet on a Mercedes chassis, the show price is $129,981. So it's less than $130,000. What do you think? Is this a buy or don't buy? Well, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, see you on the road.